up everybody we're back today with a brand new unboxing just got in a package from end clothing as everybody knows in clothing always sends their shoes in the best boxes on the market plus then wrapped up so these things always take a minute to get into um trying, oh yeah i remember what these are now <laughs> i drew a blank but uh in clothing did a restock of this shoe was it last week sometime? It was like a surprise kind of a restock. Um, but from the title of this video, you'll already know these are the Presto acronym. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I think that's what they're called. The Nike Air Presto ac acronyms, I think. I'm 99% sure. But here we go with the end of the box. Always a awesome box to keep i actually keep all my end boxes because they're really good to store stuff in you can store all kinds of stuff in these boxes these this shipping box is so freaking sturdy but uh let's get into the main box i haven't seen this in person yet so i'm kind of intrigued i haven't owned any prestos yet because uh i don't know haven't really been too big on the Nike Air Prestos. Not a huge fan of them or anything. But this pair intrigued me. I wasn't about to pay resale prices for this pair. So I was very, very happy to get these for retail on a restock. There we go. Size XXL, which is size 13, 14. This box is actually a pretty cool box. This is a lot like, uh, I'd say the Jordan 11 box in the way it's made with just a slide out, so that's actually pretty cool. I like the box, but we don't keep our boxes. Upgrade, so here we go. End, receipt, and the acronyms. First impression. Interesting shoe. Very interesting shoe. Seems to be, it's not a fly net, but it's a pretty stretchable type of material here. Uh, the soles in this thing seem really comfortable, soft. Of course, they're not boost soft because boost is life. But a uh, very interesting way to put your shoes on here too. Unhook it here, and then the back part slides down, and you put your shoes on that way. That's pretty cool, actually. Huh. So as you can see, that's how you get them on. So anybody that has a white foot, these shoes would actually be pretty good for you if you have a white foot. These would be good for you. So far, I'm digging this shoe. I like it. I like it. So pretty much this shoe, you could actually tie it up one time. Just keep it there. Pull your zippers down. Slide your, your uh, foot in. Reach around. Pull your shoe up. Your shoe up. Your uh, zipper up. Very cool shoe. Let me give you a close-up of this shoe because I'm sure this far away shot isn't doing these things a whole lot of good, but this honestly is a pretty cool shoe. This is actually a really fancy shoe. I like these. Just think if you did this kind of design with like a boost sole, oh, damn. Woo, those would be just sick, but I never think it'd be boost. These are nice, I like these. These are premium, actually the back of this, there's leather here, real leather. This is actually a pretty nice shoe. I think price point I paid, it says 155 in euros. I think dollars, how much was it? I think it was around 200 retail. Doesn't say on the receipt. I think it was around 200 retail, I think. But yeah, these are actually pretty nice shoes. I like these, these are actually worth the price. But yeah, let me get a close up view of these bad boys.
So there's the up close look of this shoe. Um, not sure if these will be restocking again. I haven't heard any rumors or any talk about it. But um, I wouldn't pay much more, I'd say, than about $250 for this shoe. I think it's worth every dime of $200. Just for the stylish look of the shoe, the technology, everything went into this shoe is super nice. Kudos on Nike for actually making this shoe a premium type of shoe. Of course, it's got the premium price point, but you can't have both worlds. You can't have crap and expect, or back that up. You can't have a premium shoe and expect a crappy low price. It doesn't work that way. You want crap, you pay crap. You want nice, you gotta pay a little bit for it. But uh, honestly, resell on these, I wanna pay much over 250. I think that's actually what they're going for. But uh, hopefully these restock again so everybody else can get yourself a pair of these. They're really, really nice shoes. I know these dropped, I think, on Nike Lab, but they sold out like insanely quick. So most people missed out on that original drop of these, but hey, that's okay. You know what? You miss one shoe, don't worry. Next week they're coming out with two more pairs and within the next month they'll have 10, 12 more pairs that you want. So you miss one pair, no biggie. Move on to the next. Don't dwell on it, you know? Because if we all dwelled on all the Yeezys that we missed, all of the, you know, exclusive Jordans that we missed over the years, man, we would be able to sleep at night. Just move on to the next shoe and try again. But uh, thanks for watching this video. I upload seven days a week, sometimes twice a day. It just depends. Um, trying to give the best content as I possibly can. Thank you all for subscribing, supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. That's freaking awesome. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you would, please. It gives me a higher search within the search parameters of YouTube that they redid. But uh, if anybody wants any way to talk to me below, you got my YouTube comments or messages, you got my Twitter, you got my email, you've got uh, all kinds of connections below if you want to get a hold of me for any reason. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm done rambling. On with your life.